you know, one of the tragedies of uh, apartheid is that it wasn't just really like a separation between black and white, but it was, it affected the quality of the education. So that um, the education that uh, was given to African people was inferior. And even if you look at the investment, what was invested in a white child was, you know, you, you can't even compare with what was invested in a black child. And also when you had the uprising in Soweto in 1976, the education was also disrupted. And so one of the things that um, the government is trying to do is to search for a, a system of restoring the integrity of education. St. Augustine College, 8 in the morning. Dennis Seelen is a 31-year-old Dutch volunteer. What we do, we remove the rust with uh, sandpaper and then it's clean metal. After that, you protect them quickly. When you're not to protect it quickly with an undercoat or primer, then the rust comes back again underneath, and that we not like to have. Dennis has been a Fidesco volunteer at St. Augustine's College for two years. This morning, with the help of Onwell, Dennis is repainting the college parking structure. I uh, teach also on well, as uh, you see uh, later, a little bit color instructions to mix colors. It's not easy sometimes to understand. Working with laborers from Johannesburg, Dennis provides them with training in painting skills. Working all, uh, I can say, okay, I give you the brush, I give you the paint, you know what to do. And I'm uh, very happy after two and a half years, she can work by themselves. There's not only painting what we have. We do also a lot of maintenance work, electrician work, plumbing work. Because when my colleague asks, it is urgent, please come. I have to leave my paint a bit uh, to stand on the floor. Everyone has a different background. And there's a big, uh, big family and a community. things that really strikes me is the ethos of the college. Um, the college is really positioned, uh, positions itself as a place of developing ethical and moral leadership for Africa. Um, personally I feel that um, the, although there is a problem in the country as a whole because there is a few universities, uh, the, 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 the education in the country is, is improving and I think St. Augustine is actually one of those um, steps upper uh, for, 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 for everyone. Uh, I feel everyone is welcome here and it is important that each and every citizen in our country needs to feel welcome to learning. Uh, there is not discrimination based on who you are or where you come from. So yes, I think that's, that's a good thing. A principle which allows him to claim that even though God's existence cannot be proven, or disproven for that matter, the believer can show nonetheless. My name is Jakub Urbaniak, I come from Poland. Uh, after doing my master in theology in Poland, I uh, started studying in uh, France and in Poland uh, I did a doctorate in philosophy of religion. And just after getting my degree, I arrived in South Africa to uh, work as a Fidesco volunteer at San Augustine College. My daily duties at San Augustine include uh, obviously preparing lectures, um, teaching and doing my own research. I thought I will spend two years of my life uh, you know, working 
in the middle of a bush or uh, in slums near some big city. I felt quite unsettled for a while until I got to know better the reality of uh, South African society. Today, after two years, I'm convinced that I'm on the right side of the fence because that is where I can make a difference, where I can uh, contribute to a great educational project with my own skills. Doubt, the question of a faith that entails and embraces doubt, is that people who look at their spiritual life... In 2009, I found a peace job. I was supposed to go and do stage setting. One of my friends asked me not to go. They said, no, don't go there, man. I'll give you food today. And I agreed with him. I said, okay, let me stay. And he went to buy a Soweto newspaper. He came back with a Soweto newspaper. He borrowed me to read it. And that's when I saw an advert, uh, an advert about St. Augustine College. I phoned them and they asked me to come over. And I brought my, my metric certificates, everything, even my ID copies. And then they asked me to fill application forms for admission and, and bursary. And that was like, I, I, I never thought that they would take me in because I was like, I had lost hope. But within a period of two days, they called me and said, okay, your bursary and admission has been successful. Come to St. Augustine. And I couldn't believe it. I cried like the whole night because I never thought that I would make it in life by then. And so for us, I think, as the, the colleagues of both Dennis and uh, Jacob, we really feel that uh, they coming to the college has left their mark, you know. Because when you teach students to think, you equip them for life. You equip them not just to be for the church, but for their whole life. And they are able to pass on to the skills for others. So he may not be able to see, like Dennis, a, a building that is painted. But I think later on, he will see individuals in responsible positions who are thinking differently, who are thinking ethically and who are making a change. So we approached Fidesco and uh, yeah, they, they said they would send us two volunteers and uh, they said that they had a, um, a doctor in Christian ethics available and a young man who could paint and I said that's perfect, that's two things we do need. We've had no problems, you know, it's been a blessing to have them here and uh, I think we'll be very sad to, to see them go. <laughs>